Wow. He done killed the man. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let me say that first and foremost. How y'all doing? I hope everything is going okay in your lives and things are moving positive, even though everything um, outside of it may be just a little unorthodox. Just hang in there. Stay positive. Know that you serve a mighty, mighty force. And um, you are, a, if you hear, you are a light body. You are a person that wants to see the world a better place, you know. You, And I appreciate you being there, okay. But this story, y'all, is just off the chain. And I had to share it with the family. So I want y'all to listen. This is how you know we don't, a lot of us don't have a, a chance with um, the mental illness is running rampant and people can't control their emotions. And I must admit there are sometimes I can't control mine. However, it is what my thoughts is not what I focus on. It's what I do. Okay, because I have a lot of crazy thoughts throughout the course of the day. And some of y'all asses know why, too. Y'all know why? Uh, especially those of y'all who uh, are on my last nerve, you know, who hold me to a higher standard that you willing to get. Or, you know, um, don't even think about the things that I do for you that are wonderful and good, but all you do is focus on what is negative about me because it differs from what you have. You got all kinds of people that try you throughout the course however our job is to stay steadfast vigilant and um know that the situation is gonna work itself out it's gonna work itself out now with this one we may not like the outcome most times we don't but the situations usually work themselves out and this is a story that nobody could be happy with the outcome a uh, a district court judge in Kentucky was murked and, um, in his chambers Thursday afternoon after an argument with the county sheriff. Letcher County District Judge Kevin Mullins, 54, was murked about 2 p.m. at the Letcher County Courthouse in Whitesburg County coroner Perry Fowler told the Washington Post Mullins died at the scene Fowler said the county sheriff Sean Steins 43 fatally murked Mullins after an argument inside the courtroom the Kentucky State Police said in a statement Steins is in custody and has been charged with one count of first degree murder the investigation is ongoing the trooper Matt Gayhart a Kentucky State Police spokesman said the motive and what led up to the shooting is what we're trying to find out now law enforcement received a 911 call about 2 55 p.m. Thursday state police said now when the officials arrived Mullins had multiple murk wounds Life-saving measures were attempted but unsuccessful. Steins was detained without incident. There were about 50 employees inside the courthouse when the shooting uh, happened, according to Gayhart. No one else was injured. It's a German incident for the town of about 1,600. Whitesburg, the county seat, is about 145 miles north southeast of Lexington, Lexington, nestled in the Appalachia region and near the Virginia state line. This is a new one for me, said Gayhart, who said he has been with the state police for about 14 years. This is the only incident like this I've ever heard of in this county. Mullins had been serving as district judge since 2009. Steins serving his second term as county 
Sheriff. Sadly, I have been informed that a district judge in Letcher County was shot and killed in his chamber this afternoon, said Kentucky Governor uh, Andy Brashear. There is far too much violence in this world, and I pray that there uh, that there is a better path to a better tomorrow. Yeah, better, 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 better. It ain't going to be no brighter path to no better tomorrow until y'all get some of these damn guns out of here. Yeah, I said it. It's, it's too many. It, we, they said that we got more guns than rats? That's saying an awful lot. Especially when you know how many rats are roaming in New York City alone. We ain't even counting all the other rats. I'm talking about the four-legged ones that run around. This is a mess. This is crazy. The sheriff then came in and shot the damn judge. Now he get ready to go to jail for the rest of his life. That means we have too many mental people with guns in their hands. We have too many people that can't control their emotions, but they have firearms. Oh, man, that is such a... Uh, now, that's what lets you know your nation is in decline. You know, not immigrants working and saving your town. This crazy stuff right here, where everybody gun, got a gun, and they're so willing to shoot their neighbor. That's the biggest problem I see for us, not only as a community, but as a nation. What the hell are we going to do with all these guns and killing everybody? You can't even talk about the kids killing the students at school because here you got a sheriff shooting the damn judge because of something he didn't like. Something that the judge said that set him off to the point where he wanted to see him unalived. You know, I'm, I'm going to follow up on this story because this is one of the saddest stories. This is just ridiculous. This is law enforcement killing law enforcement or, or um, law purveyors. This is how you know we, we, we need help. And, and people that fan fuel and fire and stoke um, negativity, you got to start with them. And they got to be held accountable because this is, is getting too out of hand. It is. It's just too far gone. So that's what I wanted to say about this comment. It is, I mean, the story, it is so sad. And, I mean, it's so sad. And there's no words that I ha I have to even um. My condolences go to the families of both people, because both families suffering. Your your family are always gonna be identified as the man who killed the damn judge. So if he have any children and any you know, sisters and brothers, or if his mother is still alive, this is the burden now they got to carry. That what they sibling did to the judge. And then for the people that's related to the judge, they got to deal with the hurt, the anguish of removing their loved one from life and figure out a way to press on through that. Now, if anybody don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know how painful that is. When somebody shoots your loved one, remove them from life. Uh, man, listen here. Come on, y'all. We got to do better as a nation. We got to do better. We got to do better. All right. I'm done. I'm off my soapbox. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.